Welcome to the Waverly. I'm Ellie Cantor with Bond Securecom. Wanted to introduce you to one of our projects that was completed a couple of years ago now. At the time, Petrovia was building some four sites. Each site had multiple buildings on it. This was one of them. This, we're located on Spadina Avenue, and the Waverly is a rental high-end building. And the way that Fitzrovia designs them is very unique, very high-end, very plush. If you look around, the building has a nice finish. You're entering a residential lobby that is actually a coffee shop. And then you through that, you go to the rest of the building. The building has over 100 cameras, has about 45 card readers, and about 200 suites. Every suite has a Salto door locks with the data on card system, and it's fully integrated to all the other parts of the system. Video surveillance, panic and duress in the underground, all the perimeter doors, card access, everything is integrated with the intercoms. Uh, it's a fully integrated solution. Why don't we go inside and have a look around, and we'll show you some of the highlights of the building and some of the technology that has been utilized to give the homeowner experience a different level, to go with the building of a different level. So a typical perimeter entrance door that allows you access in and out. In order to grant access, the concierge is able to release a door for people entering with a bicycle or visitors. And the card reader that is able to identify, authenticate the residents, and at the same time, update their credentials with the latest information for the building. Here we're standing in front of the telephone entry of the building. This system is provided by RISE, and we're a fully supporting dealer of RISE here in Toronto. We install it, we configure it, we support it. The system allows you to use visitor management, parking control management, amenity booking, uh, communication with the residents, a full homeowner experience app. The app itself also manages parcels and you have the ability to use a visitor pass. So if a visitor is invited, he's able to scan his QR code on this device and get granted entrance. While at the same time, the homeowner is notified that the visitor has arrived. The system also is integrated to the elevators. So once the resident lets them into the building, the elevator will automatically know what floor to take them to. Residents are able to use a regular Salto card reader to get in, and there is a camera inside the unit so a person can see who they're talking to. As well, we have a camera on the ceiling that allows us to record the general view of who came in and out of the building. So the concierge to the building, or in this case, the property management and concierge, are located in the desk behind me. From here, they can control any door, open it remotely, make sure it's closed, get alerts if it's not been closed properly. They can grant people access to different parts of the building. They can observe all the cameras. They get the calls from all the intercoms and the Dura stations throughout the building. They also are right in front of the lobby so they can observe what's going on and they can assist if necessary. One of the advantages of having a RISE system is it allows the property management to easily manage all the amenity booking. In some cases, take a deposit all through the app. A person can book the amenity room, see when its schedule shows as available, or they can come down here as well and register right on the display. On the screen, they're able to register their information and choose a room and take care of all the administrative stuff online. Once we come into the room, let's see there is a home theater room here with projector and the screen that comes down. You have cameras to observe 
what's going on to make sure that things aren't damaged and that nothing untoward is happening. There is intercom to be able to hear and talk into the people here, which is on the wall there. Throughout the facility, of course, there is background music, sound, and all the audiovisual required to make everything operate, as well as Wi-Fi throughout the whole place so everybody can have access to the internet. We use this, in this case, we're using Salto card or it can be a Salto fob. And it's a two-way communication that happens. If you notice when I present it, there are two modes. There's a read and a write. So when I first presented, there was a read and a write, right? And now all the information has been updated on my card to the latest blacklist and making sure that people that aren't allowed in can't get in. Once we do that, door automatically opens and we can just go right in. As a standard, we always install a door contact and heavy duty strikes on all our doors. So the elevator system is fully interconnected both with the RISE system and with a secure Salto access control system. And now so doing, a person visiting the building can only go to where they've been invited to. So if their friend lives on the eighth floor, that's the only floor they can go to. Inside the cab, once you enter, we have a camera that gives a full view of the entire elevator as well as which floor we're going to. We have inside the elevator, we have our card reader, which allows us now to choose which floor we're allowed to go to, as well as a display slash scanner that allows a visitor to scan the QR code that they received as part of the invitation, which grants them access to the appropriate floor that they've been allowed. As a standard, being a rental building, in order to increase the level of security. We have cameras covering the entire floor. There's in this particular floor, there are three cameras covering every point of entry and exit from the floor. On the, every residential suite in the building, we have a Salto A element door lock. The door lock communicates wirelessly to nodes that are on the ceiling and is able to gain access, notify of a breach, as well as fully update the information in the lock and remotely unlock it if required. The lock is battery operated and has a bolt that can be thrown from the inside. One of the areas is their amenity space called Stoa, which is really an outdoor oasis where you can go out, have barbecue, party, lounge. However, depending on time of the year, depending on time of the day, depending on who is allowed out there or not, the access control is able to make sure that the person that's actually gonna go out there either has booked the space, is of age, and is allowed to go out there right now in a time of the day or in time of the year. All fully programmable. Here we are. Out here we have multiple cameras covering different angles to capture the entire space. And in some cases, we have speakers outside to provide nice background music that's connected Bluetooth to a person's smartphone. All critical entrance ways, we supply with a request to exit motion detector. This allows us to detect of any unauthorized entry. So if anybody jimmies the lock, picks the lock, breaks in somehow, an alarm will go off to concierge immediately. And it detects that there's a human being on the inside. One of the amenities in this building is the gym that we all should be using daily. And on the side of the gym, we have a lounge area, which again, to make sure that only authorized people go out there, you have access control that makes sure that you're allowed to go out. And once you go out there, again, there's cameras covering the entire perimeter, audiovisual speakers for background music, as well as inside this gym. There's speakers for the audiovisual, as well as cameras covering all the areas that people are exercising in, in case they're not feeling well. And there's an intercom as well, that if somebody's not feeling well, they can hopefully make it to the unit and get assistance. 
go for a dip, even though I'm not dressed for it. This is the pool area. So the pool is not open yet, but once the pool is open and you got kids, it's very important to have good coverage for any incidents, both for liability, but also for prevention. We have multiple cameras crisscrossing the entire area, so that way we have full coverage. And we have speakers to provide music for the people that are looking for the entertainment out here. Part of the design of this building, the client wanted to have a keyless building. So in other words, any door that they want locked, it's got to have an electronic reader that allows you to authenticate and record who has been into this room. So the mechanical doors have a, what do they call it, Salto Mini, allows me to gain access, record that I've been, and I go into the mechanical room. The mechanical rooms quite often will have cameras, water leak detection, in some instances, smoke detectors, heat detectors, gas detectors, depending on what it is we want to be alerted to. It is typical in the underground garage, you have no cellular signal. Problem with that is if you have to pay for anything, like for parking or charging a vehicle, your cell phones don't work. So to boost the signal in the building, we have an antenna on the outside of the building and we have antennas throughout the underground garage that look like this. And basically that redistributes the cellular signal in the underground garage, giving the ability to use your phone, whether it's for dialing 911 in an emergency or just for paying for your charging. We are at the garage entrance to the building that takes us into the underground garage. By the entrance, we have a long range Salto reader that can read a credential from about 10 feet away. We have an intercom for in an event that it doesn't work or a visitor is trying to get in, the intercom goes directly to concierge. And as a backup system, we also have a radio receiver so people can have transmitters for people that have bicycles or people that have a vehicle that the RF tags don't work in. The receiver for it is right here. And there's a camera to capture all the entries of all the vehicles. We also have a camera at the bottom of the ramp, capturing the vehicles as they're going in and out to ideally catch a license plate, but that's quite difficult. This is the entrance of the bicycle room. We have a Salto card reader here. There are cameras inside to make sure that no damage is caused to bicycles. And this particular door will also have a request to exit motion that will alarm and notify concierge if somebody breaches the door without a credential. So this is the heart of the system. Located in one of the underground levels, we have a room that houses all our servers, our recorders, our switches, access to the internet, and our main controllers. In this particular rack, you will see the server for the video, You'll see some of the switches. We always use patch panels. We don't connect directly into the equipment. And we have our UPS backups in case of a power failure until a generator kicks in. Our UPS systems will keep everything running until the generator comes online. Over here, we also have our main controllers. So for software house for the secure system, we have the main controller that runs the show. Required power supplies, additional controller for the Salto system, the maglock power supplies, and all the required equipment to control different aspects of the system. So when this project was awarded, there was a requirement for a high-end security system fully integrated with the different parts of the system. This building has like I said, 45 access control doors, almost 200 suite locks and mechanical room door locks. We have over 100 cameras fully integrated into an NVR recording system. 
and we have intercoms and panic stations throughout the building, all tied in with a RISE system, giving us a fully unified system with the Homeowner Experience app. At the same time as this project was awarded, we were awarded three other projects from the same developer. In so doing, we suddenly had a mass of projects to do for the one developer, and they were all late to start. We had to rush to catch up to where the project was at and make sure that we meet occupancy, because at the end of the day, no occupancy, we're all in trouble. So as a big ask, don't wait till it's too late or when your building is halfway out. Get us involved early during the design stage. Let us work with you to design a solution that'll be good in the beginning and good for years to come. And then our support and our service technicians will keep your system healthy and fully operational for years to come. Thank you.